Have you been in the market for a soft case, but you're tired of cheaper cases breaking on you or wearing out? Uh, let me show you the Creedmoor case. So this is their top of the line. They do make, I think, six or eight different cases, all in different uh, configurations for different kinds of rifles. This happens to be their F-Class type case or a, a ELR case. It's available in a 55 inch or a 60 inch. Uh, I will tell you, I use the 55 inch and it, it perfectly works for my uh, F-Class rig. Uh, 32 inch finished barrel, even with a rad on my stock, it still fits in here perfectly and still has an inch or two of play. Uh, I imagine if you shot ELR and had bigger guns, you definitely want the 60 inch. Being that I don't own any of those, I don't have the 60 inch, so I can't tell you, but uh, as much room as the 55 has, I bet the 60 would be perfect for a lot of other longer guns. It is made incredibly well. Uh, they use their heavy duty Cordura, same fabric that they use on all their other uh, coats and uh, uh, mats and stuff like that. They do heavy webbing all around it. So you've got a reinforcing here and on this side here, you've got four really big pockets and, and these things are gusseted. So if you look, I mean, they come out, I mean, it's almost three inches, something like that, two and a half inches. I mean, they are big pockets. So you can put a ton of gear in here. This is great for the guy who maybe doesn't want to carry uh, a range bag with them, but wants to be able to put, you know, a set of earmuffs and maybe a little tool kit and, you know, whatever else they want to take out without bringing the entire range bag. You have plenty of room to do it with these four pockets. There's also a heavy duty sling. It is sewn in, okay, it is not a snap-on style. So it is um, sewn in at the front and at the back here. It is obviously adjustable for length and then they have a little Velcro keeper on it here. And if you look closer, and it's hard to show on camera here, but everything they do with their sewing is double stitched. So through the webbing, through the pockets, uh, it is all very heavy, uh, very heavy sewing on it. I'm not a seamstress, but I just know looking at other cases I've had where it's maybe been a single run of stitching, uh, stuff like that. You've got a number of places where they really go over it a second time to, um, to ensure that it's, it's really uh, staked down there. You can see the gap on the stitching over here. Uh, maybe there's a few areas that are single stitching. I don't know, but in the areas that I can see, uh, it all looks like it's double stitched uh, all around the edge here with the zipper, stuff like that. So uh, not only do you get the four giant pouches, you also get a retaining strap in here for putting around your gun. You get a little pocket so you could put like a uh, data card or maybe an ECI uh, empty chamber indicator in here. Uh, just nice to have just a little something to use there. And then you've got this rear uh, kind of flap that Velcros down that holds the buttstock of your gun in. Uh, again, just little thoughtful touches. And then on top of that, there is a really nice ripstop material inside. Now I was a little nervous about the ripstop. Uh, I've had cases where my scope has torn up, uh, you know, cause the scope turrets and stuff can tend to be a little abrasive and I've had it where it tears up uh, material inside. So I was a little nervous about this, you know, kind of nylon ripstop. It is held up incredibly well. In fact, I'll show you my kind of daily driver case here in a minute. This one just happens to be an extra that I have. So I thought it would be prettier for doing the main review. Uh, let me think here. Oh, uh, the other thing that I really enjoyed about using it is, and the reason I still use it as my daily case, is that it's a little bit taller. Now, a lot of cases out there tend to be really kind of sleek and, and uh, you know, really kind of slender in their form factor. And I, I understand the approach with that. But the problem I've had in the past is if you've got a big scope, maybe you've got some taller rifle uh, scope mounts, and, and the gun sits a little weird in the case, you might have to like really pack in that case to get it zipped, which one, I don't want the zipper banging right on top of my uh, scope or on top of the gun. And I also wanna make sure that I'm not abusing the case in terms of putting too much pressure or expectations on that zipper. By having this little bit of extra, you know, and in my case, my gun sits right about at the top of this pocket here, but having that extra means that, you know, it comes over and has the right amount of flex in the case to protect everything without being, you know, like squishy tight, um, where it might be pushing into the foam and then providing less protection. So uh, I really do appreciate that as well. Um, 
I've used a bunch of different cases obviously over the years. Um, they've all worn out in one place and that's in the toe of the case here or kind of what I call the toe. So if you bring your case into the firing line and, and you, you know, you're constantly scraping it or it goes in the back of a truck, something like that, this area right here tends to wear out very quickly. And I can tell you the last two or three cases that are all from the same manufacturer that I use all wear out in this area, eventually exposing the barrel of your gun, which, well, that ain't great. This uses a really heavy duty webbing, not just to attach the strap, but across the entire length of the case, all the way to the back. And again, I really like that they went to this extra length here of putting in that heavy webbing, because as you'll see on my daily driver, uh, it is barely showing any wear, but whatever wear it is showing is nothing compared to what my other cases have shown. So let me show you kind of what I call my, my daily driver. Nothing like forgetting to check your batteries before you start filming a video. So I apologize. It cut out about two minutes into showing you my daily driver case here. So sorry for the abrupt cut in the video. Anyway, this is my daily driver. This tape is just here because it's covering up something that's written on it. But uh, this thing gets used two to three times a week. It goes to all my big matches. I've been using it for close to six months now. It has handled the abuse incredibly well. Uh, I won't say I baby it. I certainly, I mean, I look at a case as a consumable item. I try to take care of it as best I can, but I know at some point it's going to wear out. But the fact is this thing gets dragged along concrete, wood, the rhino coat in my truck bed. Uh, it just, you know, it's going to get abused, but that's what it's there for to protect the rifle. So I've got my two pockets on this side, like the other one. This has the bolt in it. This has a couple other small tools. And that's really all I need. I'm not a big gear in my rifle bag kind of guy. I want a rifle case to protect it, which is what this does very well. So as a result, I have actually removed the pockets on this side. Uh, I lay this down in my truck. So this is, you know, it slides into my truck like this. It lays nice and flat. And I don't miss the pockets because I'm just not a pocket guy for uh, this particular case. You know, something like an AR or whatever. Yeah, I put a ton of stuff in pockets. But uh, this one, I have a range bag that's always with me. So uh, for me personally, I just pull the pockets. I also went ahead and pulled this strap out because it just didn't work for me. And then just for fun, totally, you know, because I could, I went ahead and just cut the two pockets into squares and put them in here. I just attached them with some Velcro so I can pull them out if I want to. But what I did find is this is nice for uh, any kind of metal rail you have, like a Kestros ZR where, um, you know, they come with a pretty, uh, pretty sharp edge, uh, even knocking it down with some sandpaper like I did. Uh, that ZR can dig into uh, cases pretty good. And so I just put that extra piece in here. My wood stock, I haven't even thought twice about it, uh, but I do like having the pop of color in here. So, you know, just my thing. And other than that, uh, you know, same thing. But the ripstop material that we were talking about, it has held up so well, uh, really surprisingly well. And, uh, you know, just to make sure that you know, I'm not just covering something up. There, There's literally nothing wrong with what's under here. It's not like I tore through it or something. It's just... It's just there, but uh, this stuff has held up. Now I've got the, you know, uh, Golden Eagle vortexes, but any kind of tactical type scope has pretty aggressive edges on it, on the turrets, and they tend to dig into your cases. And, you know, while there's a little bit of wear uh, in terms of just kind of what, what just looks like some discoloration, a little bit of scraping, uh, it is nothing that is even remotely puncturing or doing anything like that. So from that aspect, I think it's held up uh, way better than my expectations. I've never used a material like this, so I didn't know, um, I don't know, I didn't know what to expect, so uh, I just think it's great. Uh, you can even see here, like here's the little, just a little mark from where my, um, the dirt, I, you know, when I was out at Rattlesnake, it was really dusty, so like that's my turret and then my uh, level on my scope mount, and it, it's all right in here, but no wear, no tear. Um, I can probably you know, just wipe it right off, which is what I just did. So I love that aspect. Uh, the backside here with the Cordura, this is just a wet spot that I made to show you that there's just dirt. Uh, so this is, 
you know, obviously there is a very minor amount of wear because, well, I'd be lying if I said it didn't do something every time it went in and out of the back of my truck. But if you look closely, uh, the only thing you'll see are these little black hairs, which are just the fray from uh, pulling the sling off. Uh, other than that, there's virtually no wear. Uh, there's just a little bit of discoloration from dirt getting ground in, but I'm not seeing uh, really any of the threading itself uh, coming apart. And so that's great, especially for how hard this thing's been used so far. The other thing to look at, and this is where I've probably damaged more cases than any, is up on this toe that we talked about. And because of this heavy webbing that they put up here, uh, it's held up just really, really well. Um, you know, this has just a little bit of scuffing on it where you can see it sort of uh, just getting a little fuzzy in this top inch, but it's nowhere close to wearing through or wearing out. And that's what I want. I want this to protect my barrel. There's padding underneath. And the last couple cases I've used have all been from a manufacturer that no longer makes their cases. Uh, but this is where I wore out every one of the cases to where uh, it went through the side material really quickly because it was not a heavy duty Cordura. And then it would wear out you know, the padding a little bit and then suddenly my barrel's popping out the bottom. And that is uh, one, not cool. And two, a little scary when you don't realize it's happening and your crown might be bouncing into something. So it does happen uh, if you use your cases enough. For the guy who is a casual shooter, this gun case will probably last a lifetime uh, or as long as you're gonna use it. To a guy who uses it two, three, four times a week like I do, uh, I expect to get quite a bit of life out of it. Considering uh, a cheaper case that I've had in the past maybe gets me a year or two, I have every expectation that a case like this is gonna get me at least five to 10 years. Uh, barring any catastrophic uh, abuse that I give it. But the way that it's holding up, it's been beautiful. So uh, I think it's great. It works for me. You know, cases are personal. It may not be your thing. That's cool. Uh, but if you're looking for a new case and you want to get away from the budget-minded cases and get into a real case that has real good solid padding that's not going to wear out and compress, you want a good outside material, you want heavy duty stitching, you want plenty of room for your gear, uh, I would definitely check out the Creedmoor cases. So there you go. Appreciate you guys watching as always. We'll talk soon.